the 3D Bookmaker Dumpcast Racing League. Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. It is time for the start of the Stock Tournament Series 2022 season. Unlike King of the Mountain, these cars have not been modified. Also, we're going back to the 16-car tournament bracket. That means we'll have 16 Ford Mustangs competing in this tournament. There's so many Mustangs, maybe too many. Can you really have too many Mustangs? Yes, you absolutely can. One is too much for me. Now, we are taking safety very seriously for this tournament. What is that long line for? We're making sure each and everyone in the crowd signs a waiver. Nah, that makes a lot of sense. We got Mustangs. Well, they do have a reputation. Let's look at the bracket for this tournament. The drivers will be competing in groups of four, and we have four groups for round one. Up first for group one, we have Kenny Smallblock. Kenny is driving in a 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Then we have James Hitfield, a very fitting name. Hitfield is driving in a 92 Fox Body Mustang. Then we have Jack Ford. Jack Ford is in a red 1967 Mustang. And finally, we have Odin Boomer. Odin is driving in a 2018 Ford Mustang GT. I'm kind of liking that car. See, they're growing on you. I wouldn't say that. Here we go, the drivers will compete in four races. The top two drivers in points will advance on to the next round. My prediction here is that each and every race, one of these Mustangs will wreck. We'll see about that, but I think by the end of this whole thing, you just might become a Mustang fan. <laughs> Please, not gonna happen. We'll see right now, Kenny Smallblock out in the front, followed by Jack Ford, modern Mustang versus a classic. Kenny Smallblock with a nice lead here. He's rounding the final corner, and Kenny Smallblock will take the win on race one, followed by Jack Ford, James Hitfield and Odin Boomer. A little fender bender in the tunnel, but I'm actually surprised to see all the cars make it past the finish line. That was a very clean race. Maybe all the ideas you have about Mustangs and Mustang owners might not totally be accurate. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. That was only one race. I think this tournament can be like an intervention for I'm you. I'm not the one with the problem here. The Mustangs are the problem. Don't worry. We're all here to help you. 3D. This is a safe space. This is not a safe space. We're way too close to the track. Here we go with race two. James Hitfield on the front right. Odin Boomer on the front left. Let's hope no one gets hit by Hitfield. Odin Boomer with a slight lead on the first straight. It's a close pack into turn one. Hitfield trying to pull ahead. Now he's side by side with Odin Boomer. Watch out. Boomer gets pushed off the track. <laughs> Jack Ford is upside down. And there we go. A Mustang is upside down on its roof. James Hitfield on the edge. He recovers. And Hitfield takes the win on race one, followed by Kenny Smallblock. This is exactly what I expected to see. Only two races in, and someone is already upside down. Looking at the replay, James Hitfield putting some pressure on Odin Boomer. Boomer up on the side wall gets hit from behind by Jack Ford. That sends Jack Ford up the bank before he comes crashing down. This right here was just classic Mustang racing. Now, let's be fair. We've had plenty of other vehicles from different manufacturers crash and wreck on these turns. These guys are just getting started. This was the first of many. You just wait and see. It's almost like you want them to fail. I just have realistic expectations. Did a Mustang do something to you in the no. past? If you want to talk to someone I about I don't need it. to talk to anybody about anything. I'm just saying, I think we've all had our hearts broken by a Mustang at oh some point goodness. in our life. You're not alone. Well, Jack Ford is alone on the track. Let's focus on him. The other three drivers trailing behind. Jack Ford approaching the final turn. Whoa, he hits the side oh, wall. No. He's bouncing all over the place. Behind the women and children, we've got a wild Mustang on the track. Jack Ford barely able to tame that pony to bring it past the finish line. This is going to be a dangerous tournament. That will push Jack Ford up on the scoreboard. He is now in second place behind Kenny Smallblock. Jack Ford is one point over James Hitfield with one race left. And that's another double DNF. We should have a counter on the screen for all the DNFs and all the wrecks. That actually might not be a bad idea. I'm going to guess that by the end of the tournament, both stats will be in the double digits. We already have four DNFs. Maybe even triple digits. Well, with the way Jack Ford is driving. He is a disaster waiting to happen. Or a disaster that's happening right in front of us. That right there sums up the Ford Mustang. This is just the first group. We still have 12 more. There's going to be a couple bad drivers in the mix. Well, so far, I'm not impressed. Here we go. Final race of group one. Kenny Smallblock has 11. Jack Ford has eight. James Hitfield has seven, and Odin Boomer has one. Jack Ford looking to secure his spot in the next round. That pony's gone wild. Ford all over the place. He wrecks. Kenny Smallblock almost off the road. And Kenny Smallblock takes the win on the last race, followed by James Hitfield. That means Hitfield will be advancing on with Kenny Smallblock to round two. Oh, man, Jack Ford blew it. That was certainly Jack Ford's race to lose. He had a nice, solid lead there. Then right here, he hits the side wall, starts swerving back and forth. Kenny Smallblock catches up to him right here, passes on the inside that forces Jack Ford to go high on the turn. And we all know when Mustangs go high, they go low. That was an impressive race, however, for Kenny Smallblock. Let's see those stats. That is now two wrecks and five DNFs. That's not too bad. For Mustangs, it's actually pretty good. And there's your first two advancing on to the next round, Kenny Smallblock and James Hitfield.
Don't go anywhere. We've got more racing coming up after the break.